Welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. Last time we found the best treasure yet. The rover's treasure. And this time I'm going to read the book. See what's new in here. Only in the quests. This. Oh, great. This is progressing. Ah. Uh, well, I guess... You know what? I'm going to talk to you, but... Probably stay on course to do... Cortico River. What do you have to say? I mean, salvaging is what every kid dreams of doing, am I right? Or what? Hello? Are you even listening? I'm sorry to interrupt your fun, but I need to talk to you. Hey, come on, boss man. I was just getting to the groovy part. I have a salvage request from Franklin Fisher. I thought you might want to know. Whoa there, hold up. Did you just say FF? You know FF? Yes, he's been sending us salvaging requests. You know, also know FF? Steal my shell and call me a hermit crab. Well, I guess business is business. Give me that salvage request. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to you again. That's inconvenient. Don't care about Pacifica treasure. What is this? Valka Castle again? Well, let's get it on our list. Welcome back. Well, look what the catfish dragged in. If it isn't the world famous salvager, Gigi. What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, this and that, nothing to do with you. I see. Well, I didn't come to see you either. I need to talk to this super diver. There should still be a whole horde of treasure down there. Down that Valka castle you found. All oh, right, uh, here's the next chart. I mean... I can remember that easily, actually. Oh, that's the treasure room we unlocked. I know where that is immediately. Uh, which means we can ignore it for now. Uh, and be fine. You were the first to discover it, so you must know the castle's layout. And even without that knowledge, you're still way more reliable than GG. I'll put a big bounty on this one. Good luck. GG. Good luck again! Bye! Eh, and we are gonna ignore you, actually, because... I've been promising Cortica River since, like, three episodes ago, and we're finally gonna do it. What's up with him? He's acting just like his big brother. Sorry, just ignore me. It's nothing. He wants a noble cargo from Valka Castle, huh? Well, you discovered Valka Castle. This should be a problem for you. Let's get this over with. Now, that's an even more incentive to just, you know, not do it. I'm going to go to the Cortica River instead of Valka Castle. Sadly, no do- Oh, right, we're doing fish people, I just remembered. Let me get the fish people notes up on my phone. Hello, this is Gene Eric. Is this the fish people? Yes, this is the fish people. That was a conservation group again. Apparently there have been non-native fish sighted in the Cortica River midstream. By non-native, you mean fish aren't naturally found in the area, right? Exactly. Left alone, they could have a detrimental effect on the local ecosystem. We've got to find those fish. Let's -a go. According to the report, five non-native fish were sighted. All we know about the fish is that they are large. They're probably not in the best of health because of changes in their environment. We should definitely he heal them with the pulse light before catching them. Uh, yeah, standard procedure, you can't leave. That's it. 
Just be sure to take me along with you when you go to find them. Cool. Let me just double check. We are on Portico River Midstream. Yeah, and there's a lot to do here. Well, best way to do it is to get started. So we're gonna dive. We don't, we actually do have a choice. Um, okay, that shocked me. Uh, we're actually gonna wanna start down here, I think. Yep, this should do it. Boom. Ah, miserable music. The Cortica River when you don't get Dulemon. Well, we're here. I'm gonna knock off this bottom edge of the map. Just because I'm kind of like that. And also, we never really have a reason to go this direction. And I'm also curious about the excuse the game's going to give us for not letting us... I don't know. I don't understand how currents being too strong affects a river. But whatever. I'm going to head this way. Oceana's around here somewhere, I'm sure. So we're looking for large fishes. Can we get you a for? Yep. Something that has been so long when I've gone in between areas that I forget which fishes we've found and which fishes we've not. Alligator Gar is native, I think. You... I think the game's supposed to do a bigger deal about when we find... Let me out of here! I think the game's supposed to do a bigger deal about finding the, the specific fish for the fish people. I will take that coin, thank you very much. Oh, when a giant tadpole like this grows up, do you think it becomes a giant frog? Like, giant enough to ride? Imagine playing polo on a giant frog. Ribbity up. That was stupid. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and clear some of the side land off if I can. Uh, not looks very inviting for that. I'm here for fish people. I don't know why I'm trying to clear the map. Well, madness aside, we should be close to the fish that's the culprit here. You don't look like you're supposed to be here. Because you're not. That's one, that's the first one captured. It seems the non-native fish are in fact Atlantic tarpon. There are four left. Let's catch them as fast as we can. Cool. Perilous Waters. Great. I can't argue with the game here. This is a very accurate song for this area. You're a new fish? Wow, check out this catfish. It's covered in scales like armor. It looks so cool! I wonder if I can get one of these as a pet. Uh, maybe. I'm not the fish pet getting expert. Well, if there's a... One of them Atlantic fish here. There is one of these Atlantic fish here in the Perilous Waters. I'm amazed you haven't been torn apart by the piranhas yet. That's the second one captured. There are only three left now. Let me clear this map square right here. Please stay away from me, piranhas. Thank you. Now, back to business. I'm looking at zoom scenes and clicking on stuff we've seen before. Alrighty, we need the next Atlantic Fishy Foo thingy. <laughs> That's a new one for the book. Atlantic Fishy Foos, come here. Here, Fishy Foo. I'm done. That looks like the next guy. Not far away from the gator. That was not an Atlantic Fishy Foo. Oh, well, I healed an extra fish for a heck of it. Any Atlantic Fishy Foos in here? Probably not for much longer, honestly. Oop, not much longer for me either. Atlantic fishy foo. Nope. 
Come on, where are the Atlantic fishy foos? No. I better check this section of the stream just in case. Please don't eat me. I'm just looking for the Atlantic fishy foos. I want nothing to do with you. That was boring. Alright, fine. The Atlantic fishy foods are not on this part of the map, so we're gonna just progress. Stupid Atlantic fishy foods. I'm actually more like smart Atlantic fishy foods. Why would the Atlantic fishy food wanna hide around here? Here we are! Oop, no, we're not feeding the Atlantic fishy foods. We are healing and capturing. That's the third one captured! Only two more to go now! Two more Atlantic fishy foos. Coin. Thank you. I almost want to go on a coin scavenger hunt. Except I know where none. Of, I don't know where any of the coins really are, so that would be not very productive use of an episode. I'm stuck. I'm still stuck. What am I stuck on? Am I stuck on Gator Boy? I don't know. You get this. There we go. Back to finding Atlantic fishy foods. Here, I already saw that one. Uh, I'm gonna head this direction. This, for some reason, I'm getting the impression the Atlantic fishy foo is this way. At least I hope the Atlantic fishy foo is this way. Here, Atlantic fishy foos. Thought I saw it, but that's just... I guess a log sunken. I'm glad these gators are leaving me alone. Alright, no Atlantic fishy foo that way. Oh! Can you hear me? This is Gene Eric! Looks like you're in giant otter territory now. They have their own territory separate from that, the spectral Kaiman, which is called Habitat Isolation. Wild animals such as these simply cannot coexist peacefully. However, they don't usually attack humans. So you can't pass on through without fear. Okay, thank you. Learning stuff. There's the next Atlantic fishy- I'm not feeding the fishy foes! That's the fourth one captured! Just one left! I better clear this. Make sure, just make sure there's not an Atlantic fishy foo hiding here. It doesn't look like it. But, uh... You never know. Nice try. Yeah, just silver kaiman and gators. I kind of had a feeling. But you never know. You never know. Alrighty, now we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, oops. In case I never mentioned before, you can press 2 to go in first person mode. There's a fallen tree blocking the way. It'll take more than human strength to move it. And before you think I can just drag a dolphin in here to move that, you can't. It's gotta be a freshwater dolphin. Uh-huh, I know. I spent lots of time trying to bring all sorts of different whales and dolphins and creatures in to move it. None of them worked. It has to be... The freshwater one, whose quest we can't get because Hayaku will not let us do it yet. And I don't know how much longer Hayaku's going to be locked in this, uh, no lo not letting you progress phase in terms of the next thing that she's going to let us do. Which should have been allowed to do a long time ago, I'll have you know. Maybe I'm not doing enough of the aquarium. That could be it. I'm just clearing out coins, too. Ooh, another coin. Thank you. And I'm just looking for the last Atlantic fishy foo. Here at that. Oh. Can you hear me? It's Gene Eric. Surprise, surprise. Wow, and our. Our pommy. Our pet. The fish. You can see why some call it a living, fo living fossil. Its shape hasn't changed in 100 million years. How's that for a fish story? 
Good to know, I guess. Mangrove maze. I'm gonna look here real fast. Glad I did. This is scary music. I think it's, is this one of the first times we've heard this song? Or one of the few times we've heard this song, more like it, I think. You're the weird fish that Generic was going cray cray over. Ooh, I got hit by an eel. Not good. Hence the scary music. Nothing here. Scary. Mine! We're just clearing out the coins. In fact, the game might actually do part of the coin quest here soon. Hello! Oops. Hang on. Whew! I escaped it. That saw the non-native fish safely rounded up. I wonder what they're doing here. Anyway, let's get back to Nine Ball Island. Actually, yeah. Get back to Nine Ball Island before the eel gets me! So that's it for... this place for now. Unless we want to go salvaging really quickly in the temple. Do we actually want to go salvaging with the... There's not really a reason to yet. That's the thing. So I'm just gonna go back to Nine Ball Island. If only you could hear how much the Wii has to make noises in order to make this game run. It's kind of fun, actually. Well done on your search for the non-native fish in the Cortica River. The conservation group is delighted that you could help them. They sent a small gift to thank you. I guess we got a tank. And 2,000. They also sent us a copy of the report into the issue. It seems that the reason the Atlantic fishy foods were found in the Cortica River, where they would never be found, where they would never be found, naturally, was that someone at a mansion downstream had them in an aquarium, but released them into the river when they became too difficult to care for. Since we found these fish midstream, they must have swum upstream. While searching for somewhere to live, they were determined to survive. First they go out and catch the fish, and then they just throw them away? Of course, it was better to return them to nature than simply to kill them. It could have been fine had they been returned to their natural environment. But when animals are simply abandoned into a foreign environment, they can destroy the ecosystem of the native species. Not only that, the species that had been abandoned may not be able to adapt to its new surroundings and can quickly exhaust itself. Again. What's wrong, so Oceana? This turned out to be yet another problem caused by humans. Uh, do you hate us? It's not that, it's just... Oh, never mind, it's fine. Forget about it. Really. We're gonna have to hear what she has to say after probably one more fish quest. The fish people. Um, let me look at the table, because I, I... I forgot briefly what we were supposed to do next, but now I remembered. Unless there's a reason to not do it. Oh my goodness! All right, one more thing of him. We're doing this. Uh, we did the fish, people. And this has made progress. Good to know. What else is in here? The clothes... Oh, right. We learned about the Cortica River midstream problem. Let me check treasure rumors. Uh, we are doing stuff here, I think. I can't remember where I found... I don't think... Wait, yes, it was on here. Rover's treasure was on here. I want, I want to read it, actually. What? No, that's not going to be that one. 
Yep, Rover's Treasure. That was the quest we did. Okay. So next up is... I mean, we could call Nancy, but I want to run to the aquarium real fast. We don't... Okay, fine. We have ten minutes. I guess we can do the aquarium, and then if there's time, I'm going to head back to... Cicero Strait and see if I can very quickly pick up the guy's thing he wants. Whoa. At the least, we'll pick up money and shuffle the displays here. And it looks like Hayaku has something to say. I saw the report on the green sea toast egg lane. It was amazing. So detailed. It has caught the eye of both visitors and academics. Well done. Next, I want you to observe the precise moment the green sea turtles hatch. Pictures of egg laying and hatching should help to illustrate the wonders of life and the beauty of the ocean. When you're ready, I'm sure there will be another request from Matilda. Check for Fociana, see if a request has come in, blah 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 blah. So that's been advanced, good. Let me press one please, thank you. We're gonna shuffle the display here. And I haven't shuffled the displays in the back area since, you know, we first arrived, so... Wouldn't hurt to do it. Plus, I found more fishes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the deep. We actually might have fish to put in here now. Uh... I guess let's do one of each. Okay. Cold waters. Um, there's not really much. There's a sea angel. I'm gonna clear that slot because I think it's ugly. This thing's not much nicer. I guess we can have a little bit of like that. Okay, that's done. The tropical rivers. Um, that's a good start, but I'm gonna add the new fish. There we go. Back out of that. Back out of that. I'm gonna go to the marine life annex. Come on. And I'm gonna auto place it, because I really don't care too much. We're gonna go back to the main area. And we're gonna get paid and then go. We only have six minutes. So we really gonna have enough time to do. We might not have enough time to get through Valka Castle. We do if we go for 35 minutes, but for a half hour episode, not so much. We just do the staff room really fast. I know. Oh, right. I know about this. Thank you. Uh, give me visitor numbers. It actually went down. Gross. Uh, I'm done. A little bit of money. Cool. Uh, I would really like to just do the Valka Castle thing now. But I think to speed it up, I'll take a whale. No, I'll take a, you know, one of the dolphin friends with me. So we can have a little bit of fast transit through the castle. And let's go. Dive. I'm gonna take Yoshi with me. And we're gonna go to the Triton Village. Boop. Do 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 do. Thank you. 
Come on. And here we are. Proceedeth. I don't remember one if this saves any more time getting on the dolphin to get over there than with just to uh, swim there myself. Actually, I know what the song should be as I dive in when I'm going by myself. So we just gotta see if the song is at that point or not. Which now that I look at it, yeah, it actually will it reach that point? All right, fine. We made it slightly earlier, but not by much. Whatever. This is the part where it really will save the time. My dolphin friend isn't here, right? Don't see him. What, you not allowed in Volca Castle? No fish allowed? I mean, there's lots of fish in here. You spin real fast. Oh, how dumb is that? I brought Yoshi for no reason. Unless Yoshi's magically waiting up here at the dome. That's kind of dumb. Oh, okay, Yoshi's waiting out here. Now let's go up, 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 up. Look the map to make sure I go the right way. Come on, up. you can make it. Please don't make me dismount. There we go. Do do da 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 da. Well, we go through this door. Watch out for the deadly fish. Then we go through this door. Take a left from the deadly fish, and then we enter the treasure vault. I'm actually going to dismount here. And begin multi-sensoring. Is it literally just right at the front door? Wouldn't that be convenient? No, it's not, because it didn't turn red. Let's see here. It should be then... There it is. Thank you. Is this the thing that's gonna be in the wall and it's gonna aggravate me? Yep. That's so annoying. Well, let's see if there's anything else to grab in here. A little painting. Is that it? Looks like we've exhausted the area. And we've also exhausted time. So! We're going to stop here for the day, and next time on Endless Ocean Blue World, well, we're going to sell the salvageable things we got. We're going to give the salvageable request to the guy. We're going to hope that more quests stop popping up, because I'm worried we're running out again, which means we're going to need to do some progress, probably in the sec in two episodes from now, if I had to guess. Yeah, we might also be forced to do progress again soon. Uh... We'll see what happens. See you guys then.